casting for every Arvada Center production begins with auditions held at the center. But for Legally Blonde the Musical, artistic producer Rod Lansbury found himself looking for a star in an unusual place, at Foothills Animal Shelter. Yeah, I come with treats. Look at you. Yes, you know there's more in the bag. Because this time, the Arvada Center isn't just putting on the show, it's putting on the dog. And not just any dog will do. The role of Bruiser has to be a short-haired Chihuahua that looks perfect in pink. You look so good with short hair. You do, yes. Yes, I know you're the favorite, yes. You're passing the audition test, definitely. But this little guy's road to fame was a winding one. He actually was a stray, so he came to us as a lost dog. And he, he had a little bit more of wire hair on him, so he's probably a Chihuahua mix. We take in close to 10,000 animals every single year, which most people are very surprised by. And, and we see not only dogs and puppies, but also kittens and cats, as well as other types of animals. About 1,000 of those are critters. Since Foothills is such a great facility, and work so hard in the community, we thought it would be a good idea if we, they would be able to work with us and hopefully we could help them and help little guys like this one find a home. Bruiser has a co-star, a bulldog, filling the role of Rufus in Legally Blonde. It looks like a great fit between the two. She's an excellent example of a success story for us. She was left outside our door in a plastic bin. It was on a very cold night, about five degrees. She had icicles on her whiskers when we went out to get her, and she had a prolapsed uterus, so she was in pretty bad shape. Two surgeries later, Pickles found herself in a loving, permanent home with Robin Rothschild, who helped nurse her back to health, then adopted her. Lansbury reassured Robin and Jennifer about the dog's care during the show. There's somebody that's with the dogs to take care of them specifically through the whole period. My concerns were all put at ease when we did a backstage tour there. Everyone was so animal friendly. Um, they were loving on the dogs. They had already thought through where they were going to have them in the theater, which was a big comfort to all of us. And so we knew that they were going to get excellent care. Soon, it was time to meet the rest of the cast and crew. Is your real name going to be Bruiser? Can I kiss? Okay. <laughs> Luckily, Haley, who is playing RL, she also has a dog of her own. She's already familiar with the dog and working with dogs. It's a combination of training them to know that they get treats when they do certain things and keeping them happy that way. And because Bruiser is expected to be a fashion plate in perky pink and rhinestones, a fitting was in order. Dogs close their size by how long their torsos are. That's great. Got your measurements. <laughs> what a good puppy you are. And a shampoo rinse helped transform him to the handsome tan color called for in his role. Good boy. Bruiser's foster mom during the run of the show is stage manager Lisa Kurtz, who keeps reminding herself that Bruiser is up for adoption at the end of the show. He has won my heart, and he's a cutie, and I hope he goes to a good home. Pickles, too, enjoyed being in the spotlight when introduced in her new role as Rufus. You got the right collar and everything. <laughs> Though they may not have their own dressing rooms, they're definitely getting the star treatment. The dogs have their own crates, their own home, their toys, everything that makes them comfortable back there. The intensity of productions at the Arvada Center calls for three weeks of rehearsals before showtime. And as opening night neared... Bruiser! Where is El? <laughs> Bruiser proved he was ready for the paparazzi and all the fanfare of show business. Legally Blonde, the musical runs June 8th through July 1st. For tickets and showtimes, call the box office at 720-898-7200 or go online to arvadacenter.org. And if you're interested in more information about the adoption of Bruiser or other animals needing homes, check out the shelter's website at foothillsanimalshelter.org. Show your Legally Blonde ticket stub for $25 discounts on either an adoption or dog training classes.